Welcome back to the final part of our orange texture tutorial series. And we're going to actually put the texture on a sphere. It's going to be awesome. So we go into Unity here. We're going to create, um, in hierarchy, we're going to create a sphere. Okay, we're going to drag in our orange projection. I saved it, saved it as a PNG. And we're going to make a duplicate of it. Control D also makes a duplicate in Inkscape, as well as Unity, nice and conveniently the same. We're going to turn one of them into a texture. I might as well name things right. Uh, texture. And this second one is going to be a normal map. You ready for this? This is where the magic happens. Look at that. That is good texturing, folks. Now, you might be able to find slight imperfections on the poles, like on the top of the bottom where the texture comes together, like right there. But you can just put like a stem there and a little leaf or something. It's easy to clean up those, and in fact, many people wouldn't even notice. Okay, well, hey, we're not done. We got our normal map to apply. Let's bring this in. This is where the real black magic happens. Oh, that looks terrible. Okay, let's reduce the bumpiness. And what do you know? Hmm. That looks good. The normal map, you can see here, it changed the colors when we defined it as a normal map. And it's actually using um, the information on each pixel to bend light. So when the light hits the orange, it looks at the normal map pixel at that point on the object. And depending on the color, it reflects the light at a different angle. So it's adding bumps without actually adding geometry. Because you can see here, this is a very simple object. But it looks very intricate and detailed. And all the best looking games do this a ton. Normal maps are your friend. So, I don't know what else to say. I guess you're probably not going to be using this technique to make fruit. I uh, think it's great for planets. A uh, planet is much easier to use in a game than a piece of fruit, I think. So you can create all kinds of planets and make a game, and I hope this helps. Stay tuned for more.